everyone today i want to talk about um things that would be a great idea to give us a gift so obviously christmas is coming up and apart from christmas any point um during the year if someone has um a birthday or any special occasion and that person whether it's your spouse your partner your um friend, family member and they are into watercolours, then I think it would be a great present to give. So I will um, have three groups um, of gift ideas which hopefully will help you. So one of them is going to be watercolour brushes over here. Second is going to be watercolours and I've got a few options here. They range from the price I have two books which I would really highly recommend as a gift so I'm going to mention those to you and show you. So here are the watercolour brushes that I would really recommend um, to gift because um, so first of all let's talk about these. These are all of my Princeton watercolour brushes from the Heritage Collection. As you can see there are quite a few here and they look super beautiful. They have this red wood handle with a gold um, golden ferrule and the combination of the two colours for me personally I think is just so so beautiful. And then they also have um, within the same range I think they have the um, wash brushes which are which have a um, an acrylic handle with a slanted edge hopefully you can see if I show you right here so it's a slanted edge like so I'm trying to hide so you would focus on the right thing there and basically um, it's to scratch the paper and give it some texture so that's a watercolor technique but um, let's just concentrate on these so these are um, synthetic sable brushes so they're made to look like sable but they're in fact 100% synthetic they um, they have a great so the difference is sable are very soft brushes and they um, take a lot of moisture a lot of liquid in a lot of water obviously for watercolor you need water and um, then it's harder to control a real sable brush and you do have to have some sort of skills to do that and also depends on what um, style of watercolors you like but these brushes are designed so that they have um, a spring to them so they, they are easier to control, they're easier to use and so they are, are great. In fact I read that they were the first synthetic um, sable brushes introduced um, in history I think so that's quite interesting so they do have um, great sort of heritage um, to them heritage value and so yeah they're great there, as you can see there's a big variety here and I've been expanding my collection and I love using them and the other type of brushes that I would also recommend and the price mark as well by the way is sable real sable brushes are super expensive and um, these are within I'd say an affordable range so I think I paid about 13 or 14 um, British pounds for this size 12 brush so it's quite reasonable um, a real sable brush would be quite a bit more expensive now let's talk about these. So these are the quill brushes and I'll take off their sleeves. I haven't used them yet just because I kept them um, for this video because I wanted you to see them brand new, what they look like. So these are quite interesting as well. So um, this particular brand is Jackson's and they are quite reasonable in terms of price. Um, trying to think I think about the same price range that I got these but again if you would go for a hundred percent sable quill brush that would set you back quite a bit they're quite expensive but um, these are great because they are actually a mix of real sable and synthetic sable 
and they um, are meant to hold a very big amount of water but have a very fine tip so really you could just use one brush and go from detailing into washes etc etc it's meant to be quite special and as you can see the ferrule is quite different I'll turn it towards you so you can see the ferrule has this um, transparent plastic wrapped around and then it has the metal wires um, holding the bristles together and it's quite quite special I think um, I'd say and also the um, the handles are wooden so this is the size 2 and this is the 10 zero so also when you are buying these brushes online you would assume that they um, are the same in terms of um, sizes as the classical brushes but I'll show you as a comparison here is a quill size 2 the black one and the Princeton the red one is the size 12 so you can see quite a big difference so in fact if you went for a size 12 in quill it'd be a massive mop brush so be careful when you purchase these um, online be aware of that so that's um, the brushes next thing let's talk about watercolors and I'm actually going to show you something in a bit so first of all I would really highly recommend this um, fine tag handmade German watercolor so they're really beautiful to look at um, the palette maybe isn't too special because it's plastic and doesn't look too special but it's quite convenient because it's long it's thin it's um, very light so it's easy to take with you if you're on the go and to store at home as well it doesn't take up too much space I will um, also show you like so so these are individual pans that you can take off like so so they look like a tablet and I'm not sure if you can buy them separately I haven't researched that yet but I assume you probably could since they are removable and the other thing is if you need just one and you're on the go you could easily just clip it off and take it with you and then when you're back home put it back in so that's a, a good um, little addition they're quite beautiful as you can see um, how they are done I hope you can see I'm trying to see what I'm showing you so they have this beautiful texture and you get five different gold colors and you get a silver like a um, frosty kind of silver not a cool tone silver and yeah they're great um, watercolors very beautiful in fact from what I have researched these are um, highly regarded um, gold watercolors so they are great quality and it's just something that not everyone has and I think as a watercolorist you it would come come in quite handy to have gold watercolors because you can add details to your um, illustrations I'll show you one if you haven't seen yet here is an example of the Frida illustration I did and here in the hair there is some gold I hope you can see and also if you add it into wet watercolour and make it um, flow then you get these beautiful marble effects. So that's that. Next one let's talk about is Core. Now this is a brand that's new to me, it's not new to, to the market. Mm. So it's been around for a while but the um, have I said it's American? If I haven't, it's American. It's um, quite great because it's very different to all the other watercolors that I have. And it is um, basically, I'll show you first. Let's let's have a look at the tin. So, so I'm not too keen on the tin itself. I wish it was either just black or um, different design or a different color. Um, it kind of it doesn't appeal too much to me design wise um, but let's look inside so you get this uh, top which you just unclick like this 
and that's good because you you don't have it attached you have the flexibility of moving things around and make it comfortable for you and then inside you get this little leaflet which um, shows you the entire collection of the watercolors which isn't too big compared to Schmincke or uh, Winsor Newton or Daniel Smith um, so and the other thing that I thought would would have been quite useful is if they had any pigment information on here or transparency or staining information because from this there is nothing there all there is is just the number of the color um, and the name of the color and that is it so but you do get some information on the tubes itself themselves so inside you get um, six um, watercolor tubes so I actually didn't tell you but this particular set there are different sets and this one is called high chroma it's on the lid right here so it's high chroma and it's got these beautiful six colors right here you can see and um, so basically you get quinacridone gold, you get green gold, cobalt teal, dioxazine purple, quinacridone magenta and transparent pyrrhal orange. So these are the colours. The insert is, um, did I say they're 5 mil? So these, this is meant to be like the test, um, kind of, like a, if you want to try these watercolours out and you don't want to commit to a big set, they are really expensive. So this is a great way to do that. So this entire set cost me about £27, I think. So it's quite affordable this way. It becomes quite expensive if you buy one of those big boys, which is 11 mils. So it's interesting that they don't do a 15 mil um, tube like other brands do. So um, classically it's 5 mils and then you go up to 15 mils. They do 5 mils and then 11 mils. However, the 11 mils are um, 14 pounds something um, here in UK, so very expensive. It's literally one of these tubes is half price of this entire tin, so quite expensive. Um, therefore, it's a great way to try six colors um, and see whether you like them and personally I would not be able to you know do a whole kind of 48 colors core palette because I think you know <laughs> you just uh, yeah your bank um, balance would suffer quite a lot but I think core the way I would approach it is just pick out a few colors and also obviously these sets are great by the way um, on um, Jackson's Art I ordered a um, couple of colors of these um, bigger tubes and they had a promotional sample um, a sample tube of the color cobalt blue so that was quite great um, you know you get basically a whole 11 mils um, for free which is quite expensive so if you want to order something you know um, now um, I was I think a couple of times trying to tell you about the insert. So the insert is a cardboard um, insert, which you know is not great. Um, so you can take it out. I'm not going to do that now. You can take it out, but it does help you to keep the um, these tubes in place. Um, I mean, it would look great if it was maybe a removable um, metal insert of some sort. But I guess what it um, does is gives you the, the freedom of, you know, move things around. And if you want to add, say, a couple more of the um, tubes, you, you can do that. You can take out the insert and have a lot more space for your tubes. Um, the other thing to keep in mind that there is nothing to protect um, the the lid. So if you're going to have some color squeezed out onto the palettes, there is basically um, if you will remove the insert, they will kind of move about and make a lot of mess. So 
um, not too sure about the packaging but the reason I am so excited about um, this watercolor is I started reading about the brand and there is a lot of science behind them and just to show you I will do separate videos with swatching out all the colors and talking in depth about it but this um, this video is not about this but I will show you um, a few little swatches that I've done a little play I had just to show how incredibly intense they are um, I'm not editing any um, filters I'm not putting any filters on I'm not editing any color um, so this is as they are they are quite stunning and I had a big play with the cobalt teal because it is super super um, intense and it has this color disperse which makes the color move and push around and the why they're so special core is because they're using a different blender they're using uh, a blender called Aquazole which I think is pat pat patented patent <laughs> so it's it's their own they have um, worked with scientists in lab laboratories to find out this um, particular blender to make them stand out and make them different to other brands and that's what makes their watercolors they claim incredibly vibrant and incredibly transparent now um, that I will talk about in a separate video but again just to show you the vibrancy how beautiful is that so these are quite special very interesting watercolors quite different like I said to any of the other classic watercolors that I own and I have next one and so both of those watercolors that I just mentioned they are within the price mark of about 27 pounds so quite uh, affordable and let's both of them are six colors let's talk now about this one this is a gorgeous and this is a little bit more expensive so this one uh, cost me 60 pounds on Jackson's art I think depending where you order it from it could be a little bit more expensive but basically it's the Sennelier which is a very um, highly regarded French watercolor brand and um, this particular set is really fun it's um, so the art is Billy Showell, which the book I will talk to you, I will show you in a bit. Um, she has picked these 12 colors um, for this botanical watercolor set. So she's a botanical watercolor artist. She does beautiful, beautiful paintings and she has personally picked these colors. And so it's quite special. Um, and if you're not into botanical um, art, but you still you know you love to paint uh, flowers and things it would it would be perfect because and um, by the way all of these tubes are 10 mils so Sennelier is an expensive brand because they are artist grade however as you can see compared to these you get a lot more in a palette like that so um, here is the palette quite sort of um, ordinary like they all are the um, metal tints um, but the there is a metal insert that is holding and you can't remove it it's holding all of these lovely colors and so it's a botanical it's a botanical um, set because as you can see there are no browns here no um, blacks and things like that if you want you can mix them yourself but it's great for someone who loves to paint flowers because all those yucky colors as I call them they can be quite useful but I just don't like them uh, personally I, I feel like I can mix something if I need it because I hardly ever reach to those colors so you get three blues three yellows one orange four pinks and a purple Personally, again, you can easily um, mix a purple with the blues and the pink, so I would rather have another pink here. That's just my personal opinion, but I think the, the color range is beautiful. And I have made a present, actually, to a friend of mine who had a birthday in November. 
and um, she is into botanical art and so it was quite hard to find a good gift for her because she has so many different watercolors um, and art supplies already that it was hard to pick something that she would really enjoy and I did find out that she didn't have any Sennelier um, watercolors so that's where my search began and then when I found that um, Billy Showell created this um, set I thought it would be such a fitting a gift and then my friend um, swatched them and she was really happy with the colors and after that I thought mm, I think I'm gonna get this palette for myself as well so I made a Christmas um, present to myself as well so I put this palette twice now basically and um, yeah so I'm quite excited so I have seen the swatches but I haven't done them myself yet and the reason I bought it is because I've seen the swatches so I had a great uh, review from her and finally let's talk about the book so as I just mentioned B. Shawl I actually had her book already so I hope you can see from here so I had her book already, it's the um, Botanical Painting in Watercolour and it's got this beautiful rose, it's a stunning uh, coffee table book and I would highly recommend it because the, let me find you um, some illustrations that are really really beautiful, the entire book is just great to look at even if you're not attempting or planning to do any of these you know, paintings yourself, just to look at it and to learn how to um, paint is fantastic. So it's, it's um, as you can see, it's a step-by-step -step guide and she really guides you through and shares her techniques and talks about, um, you know, all of these things in depth. So it's predominantly, so this book is predominantly flowers. However, it does have some fruit and veg in here as well, but only a few. Um, things. So when I was ordering this watercolour palette by Saint Lier, I then also saw that she had another few books and I decided to get another book of hers and this is the um, watercolour fruit and vegetable portraits um, and it's I'm really grateful I got it. Uh, I don't remember how much this one was. This one is £20 and this one actually cost me, um, so it says 16, but on Jackson's Art I got it for I think 12 or 13 quid. So that was a good, um, good price. So I um, got this book and it's great. I'm so happy I added it to my collection because I kind of find that the illustrations are even more in depth. So here, for example, the first page. <laughs> trying to see what I'm doing there, um, it has this stunning beautiful um, um, calabrabi I think it's called and the um, flowers illustration there and then I will show you a couple more. It talks about light reflection so you can see how beautiful her work is so it's a fantastic book to give and like I said if you are a little bit on a budget and you don't want to spend 20 pounds then this one for £12, I think it's an incredible price. You know, I paid some um, big monies <laughs> for some other art books that weren't as good. Okay, I'll show you another one. So here, quite beautiful. And um, I have checked, none of the illustrations are repeated in both books. So the few um, veg and fruit illustrations that she has in uh, this book um, they don't come up here and why vice versa um, so beautiful so yeah so this is my gift guide for this year and I hope you found it useful and you know these are the gifts I picked them because this is something I would love if someone would have um, given it to me I had to buy it for myself so <laughs> um, I made those gifts for me um, and yeah, so I will jolly enjoy these and I hope um, if you decide to get any of these things and um, to the p people you love or to, for yourself, then I hope you will really enjoy them or they will. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon.